Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall continue the solution or analysis of discrete type of questions of GPSR exam 2022 of maths and science subjects. Already we have solved discrete type questions from maths part. The link is given in the description box. Kindly check it out. Now we shall continue with the other remaining part of science questions. So already you might have checked out with the answers if you are a GPSCR aspirant. If you are an aspirant who wish to write GPSCR exam in the following days or if you are preparing for your TET exams, this will be helpful for you for the further exams. You will get an idea. That is the purpose of making this video. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of the videos we upload here mainly of maths and science concepts which will be useful for central TET exams, TET, GPSTR exam and even for HSTR exams also. So we can expect TET exams twice in a year as per the updates from the education department. So tentatively in month of June or July we may get the notifications for the next TET exam. If you are a fresh candidate, just now you have completed your B8, you can be prepared for the TET exam, you can start preparing from now onwards. If you are preparing for the HSTR exam that is for high school teachers recruitment, the following days we will continue with other concepts which is given in the syllabus related to HSTR exams also, you can follow up our channel. And moving to the next question, question number 71, easy question. Calculate the kinetic energy acquired by a body whose mass is 15 kg and moving with the uniform velocity of 4 meter per second. Direct question, we have to calculate the kinetic energy where mass is given, velocity is given. So we know the formula for kinetic energy is equal to half mv square substitute mass and velocity which are in SI unit only. And direct substitution and solving this we get the answer as 120 joule. Moving to the next question, question number 72, write the three equations of motion with respect to linear motion. So we know the three equations of motion, v is equal to u plus at, s is equal to ut plus half at square, v square is equal to u square plus 2as, where u is initial velocity, v is final velocity, a for acceleration, s is displacement, t is time. Generally, if you are getting confused with initial and final velocity whether you have to take as u or v, I have a trick to remember. In English alphabet, how do we write in order? First comes u, then v, then w, x, y, z, it follows like this. So which comes first? u comes first. So initial velocity you can take as u, v comes next, final velocity. So you can remember in this order, u, then v, initial, then final. Okay. Question number 73, write the symbol of the device or equipment used to represent the following electric circuit, a wire joint, rheostat, a closed plug key. So you can observe here, these are the symbols for wire joint and then you can represent like this or like this two wire joint or you can even mark here the joint point, you can just circle it even here also. So any one diagram you can draw for wire joint. For a rheostat variable resistor, you can draw a resistor and with the variation you can show like this or you can also take a resistor resistance like this and above this. Like this also you can show for rheostat. A closed plug key, you can mark either like this, this is also closed plug key, this is also closed plug key symbol. Okay, very easy question. Next question, draw the ray diagram to show the formation of image by a concave mirror when the object is placed at F on the principal axis and write the nature and position of the image. So you can draw the concave mirror and the object is at F on the principal axis. This is the principal axis 
on that F point and the object is AB is placed here first ray you have to trace out straight to this and reflected ray the next ray which has to pass through point C okay so like this so this light rays will never meet because the image form formation will be at infinity okay so when the object is at f on the principal axis for a concave mirror the image will be formed at infinity and they have asked about the nature and position of the image so image will be formed at infinity that is a position and nature of the image is real and infinitely large an inverted image will be formed okay on moving to the next question explain the phenomenon of dispersion of white light through the triangular glass prism with the help of diagram so first either you can draw the diagram okay this is the diagram which, which represent and later you can explain that okay so as the white light enters through the prism it gets deviates all the seven light deviation also you have to show here and then which de which deviates the most violet light and red and you have to write in order violet indigo blue green yellow orange red hope you might have done this in the exam so explanation is like this the phenomenon of splitting of white light into its constituent color is called as dispersion as the white light enters through the glass prism it splits up into its constituent color in the sequence from bottom in the order of violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red different colors present in composite light have different wavelengths so these colors travel at the same speed through the air but travel at different speed in the given refracting medium and since violet color has a short wavelength it deviates the most through the prism whereas red light red light has the longest wavelength and it deviates the least therefore the various components of the white light separates as they pass through the glass prism this band of seven colors obtained through the prism prism is called as spectrum okay so the main important points are like this hope you would have written and additionally you can write if there is time you would have added few more points also but main points or like this if you write you will fetch the mark next question from chemistry part draw a diagram showing conductivity of salt solution label graphite rod and battery so this is the diagram which represent solution you have to draw inside a beaker and labeling of graphite rod and battery is mandatory along with that you can also give output bulb you can show switch a uh, graphite rods either sides you can show this so this is the diagram on moving to the next question question number 77 write the value of avogadro number calculate the molecular mass of hno3 so um, atomic masses are given hydrogen 1 unit nitrogen 14 unit oxygen 16 unit this similar kind of question we have already solved before the exams in the previous videos so um, avogadro number value is 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 some write as 6.022 and it follows by the decimal numbers on rounding of this number you can write as 0. Point, sorry 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 it is easy to remember this value and to calculate the atomic masses for hn from hno3 hydrogen how many atoms of hydrogen is present only once so into 1 unit which gives us 1 into 1 is equal to 1 for nitrogen only once it is given 1 into unit is given as 14 so 1 into 14 is 14 for oxygen here we find 3 oxygen so 3 into what is the unit for oxygen 16 unit so 3 into 16 is 48 and adding um adding all this values we get 63 units as the molecular mass for hno3 okay next question what are alloys write the constituents of brass and bronze so an alloy is an homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or metal and a non metal it could be and 
an alloy is obtained by first melting the primary metal and then dissolving the other element in it in definite proportions so this is additional point writing this much was enough and we have to write the constituents of brass brass is made up of an copper and zinc or we can write in statement form brass is an alloy of copper and zinc you can write bronze copper and tin okay so don't get confused with z here yeah, bronze and don't write zinc here just remember in the other way opposite way brass is for copper and zinc bronze is copper and tin next question write the molecular formula and functional groups of the following compounds ethanol propanol ethanoic acid so for ethanol molecular formula is c2h5oh and it belongs to the functional group alcohol that is oh group okay and next one propanol molecular formula is c2h5cho and it belongs to the functional group aldehyde that is cho and in case of ethanoic acid it is also called as acetic acid molecular formula is ch3covoh they belongs to the functional group carboxylic acid next question question number 80 what are plant hormones name plant hormones that promote cell division inhibits growth in plants so this question i think in the model question paper we have discussed about this plant hormones the hormones released by the plants are called as plant hormone this plant hormones helps in growth and development of the plants the simplest form of the answer you can write and cytokinin that helps in cell division in the plants abscisic acid is a hormone which inhibits growth in the plants next question what is a food chain construct a food chain by using organism given snake grass hopper grass frog and snake so we have discussed many more simple food chain and food web also in the previous videos grass produces grass hopper next next is frog snake so snakes eats frog frog eats grass hopper grass hopper eats grass or you can write the other form you can say grass is eaten by grass hopper grass hopper is eaten by frog frogs are eaten by snake and then again they decompose and fall back to the ground so a food chain represents succession of organism that eats another organism and are in turn themselves eaten by the other organism you can say in a simple form and you have to draw the arrow mark also next question what is evolution mention any two evidences for evolution the slow emergence of adopted newer forms of organisms from pre existing simpler organism through modifications that occurred over millions of years is known as evolution so you can take any two evidences evidences of fossil fossil evidences that fossils gives us an idea of time in history when this different species were present then presence of analogous organs also for example presence of wings of birds and wings of bats they have different structures but they perform similar functions means they are evolved from the common ancestors so this gives an evidence of evolution next on moving to question number 83 five marks questions there are three five marks questions explain the refraction through rectangular glass slab with the help of diagram so first you can draw the diagram and then explain the following you can draw the neat diagram hope you would have done this and labeling is important mentioning about i and r incident ray refracted ray we have already discussed about all this incident ray refracted ray angle of incidence angle of refraction all this emergent ray and the, with the proper labeling of the diagram after that you can write any important valid point related to refraction through glass slab i have chosen few points so the points may vary accordingly no problem but main points are this first you have to write about refraction of light what is refraction a light ray that enters obliquely from one transparent medium into another transparent medium 
change its direction on entering the second medium this phenomenon of bending of light is called as refraction of light then why this refraction occurs refraction of light occurs due to the changes in the speed of light as it enters from air to the glass slab or rarer medium to the denser medium in this case of glass slab the light ray entering from air to glass slab it is found to bend towards the normal this concepts also we have discussed in the previous classes okay so these are the important points related to this refraction in additional points you can explain about the ray incident ray refracted ray angle of incidence and few here and there point about snell's law also you can write sin i by sin r is constant in this particular diagram you can write it is always constant only but you can also mention here there is no wrong if you would have mentioned next question A, B, and C are the elements having atomic numbers ten, eleven, and seventeen, respectively. Name the elements that is noble gas, metal, non-metal elements with larger atomic size. So here, first we have to identify the elements with atomic numbers ten. So which is having atomic number ten? Neon. Neon is atomic number ten, and of course eleven is sodium, Na sodium, and chlorine is seventeen, right? So the our answers lies between all this among this three only. Among this three, we have to choose the particular answers. Which is noble gas? Among this, neon is a noble gas. Metal is sodium is a metal. Non-metal is chlorine. And among this, which is having the largest atomic size, we know in case of atomic numbers, as the atomic number or the shells number of shells increases, or as we move down in the periodic table, the atomic size also increases we know and from moving from left to right in particular and so we can write among this which is having largest atomic number 17 sodium so sodium is having larger atomic size so these are the answers very easy answers it was already mentioned in the previous before the exams only in the c and r rule that the questions will be of very short answer type questions okay on moving to the last question from the question paper that is question number 85 draw a schematic sectional view of human heart and label the following aorta and right ventricle so you can just draw the section view of this human heart and aorta is here you can mention or some cases it is shown below also the same which is connecting this connecting aorta okay like this also even you can mark it here if you have shown clearly there is no problem and right ventricle is here this part okay the remaining part mentioning or labeling is optional you can label the parts there is no wrong as long as provided that you have marked properly and the diagram neat construction neat diagram must be drawn in the exam they look for the at least some basic neatness right okay so with this we have completed all the Discrete type questions of this GPSC exam 2022, mainly of maths and science major. Actually, biological science candidate they have a separate question paper where they will find more number of questions are from chemistry and biology. For PM method candidates, more number of questions will be from maths and physics. Okay, so especially from maths, number of questions will be more in maths. So, if you are a new candidate, fresher of B.Ed candidate, looking forward for T.E.T. exams and G.P.S.T.R. exams, kindly start your preparations from now onwards. There are lot of sources available, lot of YouTube channels are available. You can just be prepared for this exams. Don't wait for the official notification to be released and then to start your preparation. You can start from now. Okay. So, in the following classes, following days, we'll try to take up the concepts. Related to HSTR syllabus and also based on TET, the question papers, model question papers of TET also we'll try to upload. So which will be useful for the TET candidates, those who are preparing for the exams. Okay, so thank you, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up.